say this and I don't care if I sound angry the angry black woman whatever but I was struggling to bring my TV will fit it into my car it was in a big box it's a 55 inch it could barely fit into this car at first this girl was helping me that worked at Best Buy where I got it from but we couldn't get it in and then she kind of like left and I said I'm gonna try and figure it out on my own I'm sitting up here struggling to get this in my car men are walking back and forth no one is trying to help me it took an older man to come and see me struggling. He came out, he had a knife. He came out and helped me take the TV out of the box and put it in my back seat. And then he took the box, put it in his truck and was going to go dump it elsewhere because there's no dumpster nearby. They don't make real men anymore. <laughs> Why didn't you buy a smaller TV? <laughs> You're strong independent. You don't need no man, right? Okay, do it yourself. The man that helped you is from an era where they still had like chivalry and all that. But men nowadays, even my age, are not under. Man, chivalry's been dead and buried a long time ago for, for, for our generation. <laughs> I would help. I would help you. But you have to ask, man. Did you ask? Did you ask? Did you pull the damsel in distress face like little puppy, like 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 little puss in boots? Like, oh. Did you make a I need help face? Did you ask somebody? You're just assuming it's a guy will just come over and try to help you. And then the next thing you know, you're going to call him a perv. But we're living in the era of the Me Too movement. This is the Me Too movement era we're living in now. All men are on guard, man. <laughs> Who's going to come and help you? Unless you ask. And if you, if it's me, you ask me to come help you. I'll be like, well, I'll bring my phone out and press record. I'm like, hey, Can you say it again, please? I need, I need to have proof. <laughs> Let's sign this consent form before I leave this this TV for you, man. Say it loud so people can hear. I need witnesses because this girls can switch like that and be like, "Oh, you look at me a certain way. You try to touch me a certain way." Look. Oh, please, just trying to go on my way. I don't need no problems. Ask, man. Next time, ask. Don't just assume. Ask. <laughs> A lot of Western women are not traditional anymore, but they still want that demand to be traditional. So if you're not going to be traditional and be a, vir a, a virtuous woman, men are just going to be like, well, a lot of men right now feel like this modern Western women don't deserve protection. It's because they don't act like they deserve protection a lot of the times. Have you seen the, the, the fresh and fit guys in the podcast and see this the garbage spill out of these girls' mouths? What man would want to lay his life down for you? A man, a husband, would lay his life down for his wife and his family. But you have to be worth it. And a lot of them nowadays, I'm afraid, I'm sorry for saying this, they're not worth it. You guys remember those videos where men were at the gym getting harass harassed by women? Oh, you're looking at me. Ah, probably just glance that direction. Probably just thinking, you know, how many set does this girl have left? I need to use the machine or something. Oh, looking at me. And they post that dox you like humiliate you like like that you not that long ago you get y'all forgot i hate this i hate this i hate when those weirdos it's me so uncomfortable feral 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 like fucking feral there's mirrors everywhere so it's like you can easily ca catch people act i want you to watch very carefully my man is just minding his business <laughs> Me, I'm at the gym. It's hard not to look at some of these girls, man. They wear very, very tight pants, very like those TikTok things that that got like popular on TikTok. Those gym shorts they wear that have like a little slit bottom that goes up their ass. They buy two sizes too small, and then they wear it and sh pull it up, so their ass is like right there. The VJJ print is right there on show. Sometimes you're just looking at people like, man, you look ridiculous. You are, you're an idiot for weird dressing this. But look, oh, they're just checking me out. So, ain't nobody checking you out. What? I'll just let you girls in on some secret nowadays, man. Guys nowadays rather be at home playing video games, man. Chilling with their friends, ordering dominoes and drinking a beer, man. Down to chill with y'all. That's a hundred percent fact. Ask any man. If he's being honest with you, he'll just he'll tell you. Guys nowadays, 30s and down? Nope. They'd rather be on Fortnite. Playing Warzone. 
than dealing with this. You see the situation going on in Japan right now? We have all these women with no men and the birth rate is they're, they're, they're a dying nation. The nation full of old people because the young people are not dealing with each other anymore. That's the, that's the direction we're going in the Western world. Men are checking out because of attitudes like this. Narcissistic women that think everything is about them. So that woman at the beginning, the girl like saying, oh, guys, the guy didn't come and help you with your big screen TV, help you put it in the car. It's a byproduct. This is what this is what men are going through. That's why they don't want to. They don't want to help. They'd rather just mind their business before they get labeled feral or a freak or something. Or something, something whatever term they bring up. Don't blame men. You have to ask for help. You have to ask, man. Shiver is there because y'all killed it. Y'all killed it. So you have to ask. <laughs> He's not staring so long. He just wants to use the machine. Use that area you're working at. I was probably wondering why you're recording him. Why is the camera facing him? He has every right to worry. Did you ask his consent before you started recording? The five as five pounds. Is it Stand there doing a tricep push down exercise. And since I can't see him, just kind of staring off into space doing my thing. Watch. Halfway through a set, I start hearing footsteps that seem like they're coming in my direction, getting closer and closer and closer, until all of a sudden, this wound's right up in my face going, I didn't come here to be stared at. Huh? I didn't come here to be stared at. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm blind, I say to her. Her response? I don't care. Stop staring at me. Huh? She storms off and comes back with the manager a couple minutes later. I reach into my wallet and pull out an ID card from the Massachusetts Commission for the Blind and He's explain blind. to this guy as well, I'm blind. He's blind. Even the blind dudes can't even get no... <laughs> you see why guys don't want to deal with this? Ask. Girl at the beginning of the video. Ask. If you need help from men to help you lift something heavy or whatever, people that don't know you, ask. All you have to do is ask. <laughs>